Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today we're launching into, well, a really exciting exploration of what might be humanity's boldest ambition interstellar travel. You've asked about reaching other star systems, maybe even within our lifetime, and uh, our sources are showing some really cutting-edge concepts that are kind of redefining what we thought was possible. So our mission today is a deep dive into these groundbreaking projects, things like Breakthrough Starshot, but also other propulsion ideas that are seriously pushing the limits of space exploration. Yeah, in this dive, it really highlights a critical paradigm shift. Interstellar travel isn't purely fantasy anymore. It's becoming a genuine engineering challenge. We're kind of moving from asking if we can do it to how soon. We're exploring the scientific thinking that's turning these, uh, these really ambitious ideas into actual engineering goals we can tackle. So, okay, how do we even start to think about such a huge ambition? Let's dive into a project that's, well, already making waves. Breakthrough Starshot. Its core idea involves laser-propelled solar sails. Tiny sails. The goal, get to Alpha Centauri in an incredible 20 years. That means speeds of like 20% the speed of light. Just imagine this. A study back in 2017 suggested a sail maybe just 4x4 four four meters could actually do this using tech we well, basically have or can see developing. What's really compelling about that, I think, is the elegance of it, but also the huge engineering challenge, right? This yep. super lightweight solar cell design. It's really moved quite decisively, I'd say, from just pure theory, something you'd talk about conceptually, to a viable engineering problem, you know, something with a real pathway for development. It's for engineers now, not just theorists. Right, but what if? What if we didn't actually need these ultra lightweight designs? This is where uh, our sources throw in something pretty radical, a new proposal. There's a 2025 paper from the Tau Zero Foundation this time suggesting using a relativistic electron beam. And this beam would come from something called the solar statite. And get this, oh. you would push a much, much heavier payload. We're talking a thousand kilograms. That's way more substantial than, say, the Voyager probes. Uh, just quickly, a solar statite, it's basically like a platform parked in space using sunlight pressure to stay put relative to the sun. So a really stable base for this powerful beam. And this uh, this raises a really important question, doesn't it? If you compare this new electron beam idea to the, uh, the Starshot solar sail, the sheer significance of being able to propel a 1,000 kilogram payload, well, it's immense. That 1,000 kilograms changes everything. Exactly. This isn't just, you know, a slightly bigger probe. It fundamentally changes what becomes possible. You're moving from basic flyby data to potentially really robust scientific instruments, or even looking further out, maybe components for future habitats or infrastructure. That's the real game changer potential here. It broadens emission scope dramatically. It's, uh, it's just fascinating to think how these kinds of really ambitious ideas, ideas that might have been d dismissed not that long ago, are now serious engineering topics. Absolutely. And this practical progress, it's such a sharp contrast to earlier skepticism, isn't it? Where interstellar concepts were you know, often just science fiction. Think about something like the 2022 Earth Sky redesign of solar sails. It's a concrete example showing how these engineering challenges are being tackled systematically, piece by piece. The whole field is moving so fast, really, from just theoretical dismissal to active, hands-on innovation. We're solving the problems. So, wow. We've taken quite a journey today, haven't we? From these tiny laser pushed sails going incredibly fast to powerful electron beams potentially pushing much heavier things towards the stars. It really does showcase some profound human ingenuity, this drive to reach out there. Precisely. And I think the central takeaway really is that this whole pursuit of interstellar travel, it isn't just about fancy new technology. It runs deeper. It's about our well, our continuous ability as humans to question assumptions, to innovate relentlessly, and ultimately to push the very boundaries of what we even consider possible. So thinking about all this, what does it mean for you listening right now? Considering these breakthroughs, the sales, the beams, the sheer ambition, what new perspectives does this give you on our place in the cosmos? And maybe how might our whole understanding of neighboring star systems change, perhaps quite dramatically, in just the next few decades? Something to ponder as we look up at the night sky.